The 100 Word Challenge is a weekly writing challenge for young people under 16. In the past year, it has received 8,000 entries from over 50 countries, which have produced 68,000 links from 100wc.net to class blogs. It is a very simple idea. I set a prompt and the young people have 100 words to produce a piece of creative writing. This is posted on the class blog, then linked to 100wc.net, ready for comments from the world. I use three different sorts of prompts. Firstly, sentence prompts. As you can see, there are no capital letters. This allows the young writers to put the prompt wherever they want to. The only stipulation is that they keep the sentence as it is written. Next we have picture prompts. Children love to write about blood and gore. I was worried about it at first, but then decided to help them write good blood and gore. I take photos of things that interest me and hopefully they will spark the young people's imaginations. The last sort of prompts that I use are individual words. There are five that hopefully do not fit easily into a sentence. They can be put anywhere in the piece of writing and do not need to be in this order. Now you might be thinking, what's the difference between a prompt on 100WC or me as a class teacher setting a title for a piece of writing? This is the difference. The unread story is not a story. It is little black marks on wood pulp. The reader reading it makes it live, a live thing, a story. When you visit 100wc.net, you will see a page like this. If you scroll down, the prompt is there in black. So link an entry, go right to the bottom of the list. And click here. When you click there, it will take you to another page where you can put in all your details. In this box, you are going to put the young person's Christian name, their year group, so we have an idea of their age and their school. In this box here, you put the URL of the post, not of the blog. This is really important so that when people are commenting, they have the right post. It's only a hundred words has become my mantra. If you think about your writing groups in class, think about those who struggle. You say to them, it's only a hundred words, not even a page full. To your high flyers who write pages and pages, you say, Ah, but it's only 100 words. You have to be selective. And then if you're trying to get people to comment, you tell them that it's only 100 words, so it won't take long to read. Now, what else is in it for you as a class teacher? Well, children have a great opportunity for making links with other children. And now that the 100 word challenge is international, they have the chance of contacts from across the world. It gives them chance to gain confidence in writing when they know they are going to receive comments and this can help build their independence, especially if they are able to pace their, post their own pieces of work. It is great for building traffic on class blogs. If the children each do a piece and this is posted, you immediately have content on the blog. By providing an audience, 100WC then helps build traffic and once the young people see that people visit, they will want to post more. It is great for homework. Children do it at home, so there is no need for books to be marked. And when it comes to assessment, you can look at the comments to see the flavour of what the readers saw in it. The main strength of 100WC and what makes it different is the audience. One of the philosophies is that if you post a piece, you visit other entries. 
This helps teachers show their pupils how to comment constructively and how to be safe on the internet. However, because I cannot guarantee that children will visit each other, I have a team of volunteers who follow a set of guidelines and numbers and between us we comment on every entry. This is something that Year 10 and 11 students may be interested in doing as well as entering their own pieces. So if you would like more details about how to join by entering posts or how to help as a commentator, please go to 100wc.net for more information or you can contact me. I'm on Twitter at the Heads Office or email me. The address is on the site.